Maria Sharpova, who is best known as the former superstar tennis player, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in multiple locations in California, including a home in Los Angeles and Summerland. Maria's Los Angeles estate features a three-story house and is located on a sloping site with expansive ocean views of Malibu with Catalina Island hovering in the distance. In addition, there's also a kickback basement lounge with a bowling alley. A few months ago, Maria had made another real estate splash, snagging a Santa Barbara ranch for $8.6 million. Built in 1976, the home features a whopping five acres, three separate structures, and boasts three bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any real addresses, and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anybody. Maria Sharpova has had quite the lucrative career, killing it in professional tennis, garnering a net worth of $180 million. Over the course of her career, Sharpova has been ranked number one in the world five separate times for a sum total of 21 weeks. For 11 years in a row, Maria Sharpova was the highest paid female athlete in the world. It is estimated that her total earnings from winnings, endorsements, and appearances comes to $325 million, which puts her just behind Serena Williams. Sharpova's earnings are also among the highest in her sport. Only five men, Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray, and Pete Sampras have made more. Her wealth comes not only from her killing it during her tennis career, but also from various brand endorsements and additional business ventures. In addition to killing it on the tennis court, Sharpova's endorsement deals have been more valuable than her tournament earnings. The biggest sponsorship came as it does for many athletes, from Nike, with whom she had a deal worth a reported $70 million over eight years. But she also had deals with Porsche, Evian Water, and Head Rackets. In the past, she also had sponsorship deals with Canon and Avon. Dabbing into entrepreneurship, Maria also owns her own candy brand called Sugar Pova. She told Fox Business in 2018 that the business was worth over $20 million over six years after her $500,000 investment in the business. So it appears she's killing it in the business world too. So when you're killing it like Maria Sharpova, you're bound to end up with some pretty luxurious real estate. We will take a deep dive into the two beautiful California homes Maria has owned, showing that she's still killing it even after retirement. What's going on guys, it's Clyde Smith, and today we're bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram to chat, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In addition to Maria's most recent stunning California homes, she had previously owned a dig in Manhattan Beach, where she lived part-time. Not much was known about the property, except that she purchased the four-bed, five-bathroom, 3,750-square-foot home in December of 2005 for $3.7 million. As Maria continued to make bank, her real estate portfolio began to become more and more luxurious. This stunning Los Angeles home took three years to plan and build, the giant property which looks onto panoramic views of Malibu. Being involved in every step of the process, the home features a Japanese pine and fountain in front of a three-story glass entrance upon entry. The home features a number of luxe features, including a tranquil pool which is connected to the house, a beautiful blooming back garden, and an open-plan kitchen space. Upon entry, guests lucky enough to visit are greeted with a profusion of light. The vast hall leads to an enormous living room decked out with lavish furnishings, a cozy fireplace, and a flat-screen television soaring above, perfect for binging live sporting events. In addition, the living space opens to the beautiful outdoor patio area with a retractable glass wall. Giant doors from her open plan kitchen decked out with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, and a stunning island perfectly centered in the room slid across to join up with the Japanese style pool and barbecue area, but more on the outdoor area in just a minute. In addition, the kitchen features custom cabinetry and a pantry with more room than you know what to do with. The master bedroom features a profusion of lavish furnishings, sitting area, yet another comfy fireplace, and private balcony. In addition, the master bedroom features a walk-in closet that could easily pose as an additional room in the house. The master ensuite bathroom features dual sinks, a boffi tub that sits atop black pebbles and boasts stunning views as well as a large standing shower, perfect for relaxation. Probably the most unique part of the dig is in her downstairs. After stepping down a steep staircase, there is an additional kitchen area with professional sized bowling alley complete with two lanes. The outdoor living area features huge day beds on the grass area which is purposely placed on the other side of the crystal 
clear pool. In addition, there is an outdoor entertainment system and yet another cozy fireplace, perfect for relaxation. To top things off, the home is inspired with unique Japanese decor throughout. If that stunning Los Angeles home didn't do it for you, Maria recently added to her real estate portfolio, snagging a beautiful Santa Barbara pastoral ranch in Summerland, California for $8.6 million. The home was built in 1976 and features five acres, three separate buildings, and three bedrooms, as well as five and a half bathrooms. The home is perfect as a retreat for Maria when things get a little too crowded in the tightly packed beach neighborhood of Los Angeles. From its hilltop, the entire estate enjoys surreal panoramic views of the whitewater coastline. The scenic compound includes rolling gardens, landscape with lavender, roses, and jasmine. In addition, there are open lawns and a dense bamboo forest. As mentioned, three separate structures comprise the compound, each one with a single bedroom and each one having its own private oasis. The main house features exposed wood ceilings, loft-like living spaces, and a beautiful ocean view stone terrace set beneath palm trees just off the main house. Particularly hidden in the lush greenery, it is a detached studio space for a private office. The second structure is an elegant guest house with a Dutch-style two-piece front door, salmon-colored walls, and a back door that opens to a spacious stone patio and rolling lawns that spill down the mountain, out of sight toward the beach. The third and final residential building serves as a caretaker's guest cottage, attached to the five-stall horse barn. That house is painted a deep forest green and fully renovated on the inside, with a large fireplace, redone kitchen, and its own set of picturesque ocean views. The estate features a profusion of cheek windows, giving inspirational views of the California mountains, cozy fireplaces, elegant chandeliers, calming stone terraces, and unique decor throughout. One of the outdoor terraces features its own barbecue area, fire pit, and outdoor kitchen with stunning views perfect for relaxation. You'll be happy to know that the estate features its very own saltwater pool and wine cellar, so guests can eagerly soak in the California sun. In addition, the property features a private water well with 15,000 gallons of storage, perfect for fending off those California droughts. This retreat is quite possibly one of the most cultured and sophisticated homes that we've ever had on a house tour. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Maria Sharpova's homes and that luxurious new dig that she just picked up in Summerland. After seeing that fancy little abode she snagged, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect out of Sharpova? I mean, personally, I'm a fan of that new retirement retreat. Having five acres of California property tucked away like that, I mean, that's a can't miss for me. But out of all of Sharpova's features, which were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next video.